The control verification stream is about helping the testers understand that security requirements are just requirements. We're going to test them like anything else, automate them, get them into the test suites, and then run them in our build and deploy pipelines. Good for this stream means that we've got test cases for security features. And we have, at the starting point, automated as many as of, of our feature test cases as possible. We've got those security controls being tested with both positive as well as negative test cases. And we've automated our security checks in our regression suites. And anything, any failing test would fail, should fail the build and deploy pipeline. Level one is where you've identified the security controls and requirements and you are testing those. You should at least verify the implementation of authentication authorization, input validation, data escaping, and encryption controls. At this level, the model expects you to do this on an ad hoc basis. For instance, the QA team could go through these things manually. Frequency is at least whenever the application changes the use of some of the controls. At level two, this is where we are looking at scripted slash automated testing. Within each application, we are checking to make sure that the security features are working the way that application needs them to. Test results are getting captured and our tests are built on top of a standardized framework. So you're looking at having a consistency and consistent approach across the whole organization when it comes to writing the test cases. At level three, this is really saying we've got automated regression testing. This could be really hard to have full automation and cover all possible or many of the possible negative test cases is challenging. Moreover, anything that is reported as a security bug is, aside from fixing it, added to the test cases as well. 